Hey, what's up? It's your boy B to the Q on the K to the O to the T to the M radio YouTube channel. Thanks for swinging by once again. If it's your first time, please hit that lovely red subscribe button here on the YouTube channel. This is quickly becoming the number one home for positive Global Force Wrestling talk. And the Global Force Wrestling fan who just wants to talk with other fans and avoid the trolls that you might see on Facebook or Twitter. Not only do I upload the King of the Mountain podcast, which is my flagship show, if you will, where I talk about impact each week in a very positive light, of course. But I upload uh, vlogs similar to this one. I have interviews coming up with Sienna, Ali, and more. And uh, damn, what else I got? Uh, do a podcast spotlight of other podcasts I might be covering, Global Force Wrestling. Um, I just started something called the GFW Live Event Report. So every time they hit the road, I have someone coming on who's who, who was there, who was actually there, and tell you what the crowd and audience and vibe and atmosphere and everything was really like so that you don't have to worry about the dirt sheet. So as I said, this is, this is your place. This is your home if you're the Global Force Wrestling fan who just wants to just enjoy impact each week and not not deal with all the other BS. So the thing I want to talk to you today, and I can't wait to hear or read, I should say, your guys' responses and the comments and everything. I'm a little late on this, on talking about this, but you know, it's still something, still something to be said. So as as fans of the company, I know we always really uh, and, and the wrestlers owe nothing to us. Let's get that out there first of all. But we always do really appreciate when the stars and the knockouts do step forward and address the trolls and address the negativity. Because most of them, um, I think most of them are, are um, take the high road or the high route, whatever the uh, phrase is. They take the high road and don't necessarily address all this negativity on a daily basis because if you sit there and do that all day i mean who wants to talk about negative stuff all day but at the same time when someone does clear the air a little bit for us it's really cool so i just talked to sienna a couple days ago on the podcast uh today is what wednesday so friday the podcast uh i believe that's the 11th the podcast will be up and she does clear some air as well but i wanted to get into rosemary here Someone we all really like and enjoy and hope to see in a company for a very long time. We see a lot of people from, a lot of fans from other companies try to campaign for Rosemary to come to their company or try to try to tweet at her, hit her on social media, trying to change her mind like they know what's best for her. And I think we've really appreciated that she's someone who's really, really stepped up so far and made it be clear that she's happy in the company. And I think we really need to appreciate her for that and let her know we appreciate her, like on Twitter or whatever other social media, you know, let her know we appreciate her. We appreciate that she stands up and everything. There's a couple things I want to read here that these are from Reddit and I, you know, I, I don't know how, how old or how new they are, but I know that they started I mean, based off what she's saying here, it seems like it's fairly recent. But I'm going to read what she said. Um, and, and I'm going to paraphrase. This was on Reddit, okay? And I'm going to paraphrase the trolls. <laughs> Basically saying that we don't we don't support the company. They're, they're taking pay from the wrestlers. They're withholding their money. Um, I don't watch a show because of Alberto or I, you, you, all the excuses. We know the excuses. We know, we know all that stuff. So here's her response on Reddit. I'm going to read this word for word. We're curious. Uh, she always s remains in character, which is great. We're curious if we weren't happy or if contracts were truly as terrible as you think they are, would any of us have signed and how exactly does not watching the product help any of the wrestlers for whom you claim to be concerned? Several of us have pro wrestling tea stores if you truly feel that strongly about the merchandise. Now moving on to something else she said on here in Reddit as well. And this is great that she inserted herself into Reddit of all places. There have always been backstage politics. There always will be backstage politics. And there are, and there are always a great many more details than anyone but those directly involved will ever know. So for one to be up in arms about a topic 
that one has a mere fraction of relevant information seems very strange. Perhaps if fans would put as much energy into discussing what is happening on screen as they do what is happening off screen, they may enjoy it as, as they once did. So that has a question mark at the end. Our contracts are our business. Those who signed did not do so with any gun held against their heads. Those who did not want to sign did not sign. Oh, and if the little light payment comments would be so kind as to catch up with the times, the truth these days is quite the opposite. Pretty cool stuff. And of course, the you know, this, I'm going to call him a troll because I like that word, but the troll kind of backtracks. Oh, no, uh, she stepped in, called the dude out. And she's right. I've said it a million times on all my um, shows and my podcasts. Like, if it was that bad, no one, no one would be there. No one would sign. You know, that's that's common sense. Someone sent me a screenshot, and I'm I'm gonna paraphrase this because I don't have it in front of me. But where someone was saying the whole come to WWE thing, and she responded. This was a uh, Facebook actually. It actually said, "Fuck that." If you guys want to see us, then support us at the company we work for. So that's a couple times she's really stepped up. And then, of course, there was the one Twitter one a couple months ago, which I'm paraphrasing once again, but someone said, why hasn't WWE snatched her up yet? She would do so well over there. So right there, this this guy is stepping forward and be like, hey, this, this monopoly is just going to take people wherever they say fit, whenever they want. That's basically what this guy, why haven't they snatched her up yet? We all know as fans, first of all, before I get into her response, that the Rosemary character would not be will not be the Rosemary character in another company. I mean, we know what her Courtney Rush character is. So obviously there's going to be, it's not like she's going to go somewhere and all of a sudden be this white meat baby face. I'm, you know, obviously she has a, um, a certain gimmick that she carries around with her. It's just that the Rosemary one has been tweaked for Impact Wrestling. So... She's not going to go somewhere else and, and be Rosemary necessarily. Okay. There's people who are saying she would make a great sister Abigail to Bray Wyatt. Do you really think that she's going to leave what she's doing? Granted, a bigger platform, but to go be sister Abigail? Get the hell out of here. So anyway, her Twitter response said, repeat after us, we are contracted to Impact Wrestling. And then in her her way of speaking, she talked about we refuse to conform and all that stuff. And in the in the Facebook post I talked about earlier, to backtrack a little, she she said um, something about being brainwashed. So it, it's almost like she she uh, thinks much like we do as fans. So it's really great to hear something like this and to read something like this online. We wish more would step up and do that. But I see why they don't, you know, just because they don't, it doesn't mean they feel a certain way, but they're taking, they're taking the high road, as I said earlier, and it's not, they don't owe anything to the, to the trolls, to the naysayers, to the dirt sheets. They don't, they don't owe them anything to step up and say, oh, well, this is how, this is how the contract is structured. They really don't. The company needs to continue doing what they're doing, moving in a real good and positive direction. And that's it. It'll all speak for itself at the end of the day, but let Rosemary know you appreciate her. We, we want to see her here for the long haul, and I think the company values her very much, and I think they will take care of her, but as fans, we got to take care of her, and we got to take care of the company. We got to buy the merchandise. We got to watch the product. We got to continue to speak positively and fight the good fight, and I think we will see more people like Rosemary step up and join the cause. So in the comments, folks, let me know what you think about Rosemary and everything that she has stepped forward and said. And let me know also, do you wish more people would step forward and do the same? Let me know, folks. This is BQ. Subscribe to the channel. We will uh, talk to you guys next time.